All right. Welcome in to another episode of the Strength of Purpose podcast. I am your co-host, Dr. Phil Finnamore, owner of WorkFit Me, mobile concierge, physical th therapy, joined as always by my co-host, Josh Jewett, owner of Strength of Purpose Fitness over in Buxton, Maine. Josh, say hi to the people. Hey, what's up, everybody? What's up, Phil? I uh, hope you're doing well out there. And uh, Phil, how's it going? Good, man. Good. E excited to be back here for episode numero dos, number two of the Strength of Purpose podcast. We're having a whole lot of fun already doing this thing. And this episode is really exciting because we're, we're going to talk a little bit about why you and I, Josh, got got into doing what each of us are, are doing right now. And we'll definitely tie it in a little bit to why we started the podcast, but we went over that a little bit last week in the, in the, in the trailer right. episode. But I think this is important for people because if we aren't true and selfish, and that's important, true and selfish to our why, when we're starting anything, whether it's a, a business, whether it's a new exercise program, whether it's a new nutrition plan, you know, meditation, whatever the case might be, we're going to be a lot faster to give up when things get tough. I think yep. that that's something that's been instilled in me as I've started my mobile physical therapy practice. Uh, and I, and I'm sure you felt that with, with some bumps in the road as well. And it's, it's something that, that you've learned, but your why is, is, is really important. So I think us sharing our why can, can help give some people some clarity on, how to think about their why and how to use that to their advantage to get stronger and fulfill their greater purpose in, in life. No, absolutely. I couldn't agree more. I mean, you know, we talked last episode about our goal on the podcast mm. and, you know, starting with that, I mean, it's helping busy main professionals find the mental, emotional, and physical strength to fulfill their true purpose in life. And this goes even beyond busy main professionals. This could be somebody struggling right now that, that may need some, some good information, maybe need some to be brought up or to be helped, maybe, maybe yeah. some positivity in their life. Sure. And I think that's really important too. Yeah, definitely. Uh, I, 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 I agree. It was a, a big reason for us starting this podcast and we, we both have a, a story, a why for, for, for where we're both at in, in our businesses. So Josh, why don't you kick us off? Tell us a little bit about your why. Why did you start Strength of Purpose? What is Strength of Purpose? And kind of what what gets you up in the morning, man? Let's do it. Yeah, um, my why is I've always kind of been a person that, that loves to help people. Um, and it took me a while. Um, I was 36 when I decided to just basically nosedive into fitness. Um, I, I worked with some really good people, friends from high school that were successful. Um, they got me in good shape, kind of showed me the way. And um, just by kind of mentoring with them, I found that I, I, can, I can do it and I do a good job at it. And uh, yeah. that was really important in the beginning. But, you know, we talked, we talked a little bit before. I mean, you, you and I both have kind of a similar story as far as how we just again, dove head first into our own businesses, but I was working for somebody else. And, and obviously with COVID-19, that did not work. Um, yeah. I just kind of lost it there. I had my dream job of managing my own gym, which is really cool. Um, yeah. So I, I got thinking on my time off, uh, what is something that I know I'm good at this. I know this is my purpose. And then I started thinking about that, that just that, that one word purpose. And, um, and again, I'll go back to strength has a greater purpose. It's something that's said in the strong first community, which I have, it's, it's, it's one of the certifications that I have. Mm. And that really stuck with me hard. And yeah. it made me think like, okay, strength is, is, is an ingredient that everybody should have because mm. it makes you better. It, it makes you feel better about yourself. It makes you easier it, it, handling stress and everything in life yes. better. And then my purpose is helping people do this. And yeah. uh, I love working with people. So I think if, if blending all that together and, and kind of bringing it in and, and another reason, Phil, that I only called it strength of purpose and not strength of purpose fitness is because I wanted it to be uh, a statement, uh, like build a community around it yes. and not just have it be fitness because it's more than that. Um, I work 100%. with people 
struggle with some depression, they struggle with, with weight loss or not being able to lose the weight that they want to lose. And that's very stressful for people. Yeah. So if you can come in from that perspective and say, hey, look, person A, this isn't about just losing weight. This isn't just about me getting you strong. It's about helping you build up as a human being. Yes. So it doesn't matter whether they're big or small, 80 years old, 15 years old, everybody goes through some struggles and needs guidance. Definitely. I, I, I couldn't agree more. And so I, I'm, I'm sure that all of you listening to this right now can, or, and, or, and or watching it uh, through, our, through our YouTube channel can, can just hear the passion <laughs> that's, that's, that's kind of dripping off of, off of Josh right now uh, <laughs> because yeah. I, I, could, I could hear it the, the first time I ever, I ever met him. We were, we were introduced by a now mutual friend, Chris Kraus, who works for MedCorp Professionals, a, a great group over in Scarborough for any medical supply or equipment you would ever, ever need. Absolutely. And we, we were introduced with, by, by Chris. And from the first meeting that we had, uh, one, it was really cool. I found out Josh lives five minutes away from me. <laughs> so, so that was, that was, that was pretty cool. Pretty, pretty, uh, convenient for us to be able to get together and, and talk and, uh, learn more about how we could work together to help people. But just the, the passion, uh, of why he started just resonated with me. Cause as Josh alluded to, and, and as we'll talk about in a little bit here, we both started our businesses for the same reason. And because of that passion resonating with me, I was like, this is, this right here is why I do what I do as, as well as that, just that, that passion and that, and that drive for, for helping other people. And on top of all that, I was super jealous of how awesome the name of his business was. <laughs> <laughs> and if you listen to the last episode, I alluded to that a little bit, but that's why we're the strength of purpose podcast, because it speaks, just hearing that speaks volumes I, I think to not just what you do as a, as a, as a, as a business, Josh, but right. Right. Speak, speaks volumes to where that comes from and why you do what, what you do. Your, your, yes, it's your name, it's your logo, it's your brand, but it goes just so much deeper than that. And when we were talking about starting a podcast, I was like, we're using that. It's, it's gotta be, sure. it's gotta yeah. be the, the strength of purpose podcast. So I love it. I, I, I love, I love all that. Well, I'm proud to, to say that we're using it as our podcast too. Um, you know, it, it took me, took me a little bit to kind of think of something that was going to resonate with people and, um, you know, and, and it just, it just works out well because we both, we both, like you said, we have that passion of helping yeah. people, um, it, it down to like the microscopic level, like yeah. not just like, Phil, you don't just show up at somebody's house and say, Oh, Hey, I'm just going to give you these exercises, do them. And, you know, call me in a week. It's constantly saying, Hey, you got this. Um, let's try to get you out of pain. Let's, let's get you moving. What do you like to do? How can we get you to, 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 to be there and, and do the things that you like to do? Right. I love your statement too. It's, it's awesome. Your own business statement. And it just, it just kind of resonates with how I want to. And I've always said that I wanted strength of purpose to have a community, like a, a group of people. Yeah. Like-minded that just want to be better. They want to be better at life. They want to be better at doing everything. It's not just for kettlebells. It's, it's, right. it's, it's, I love it, man. I love it. Yeah, it's that's awesome. great. So uh, for, for our listeners, is there a certain like group of, of people that you're the most passionate about? Like I said, like what, what truly like gets you out of, out of bed in the morning besides the, you know, the obvious of, of helping people and what you've told us so far, but is there like a group of people or, or an area of your sort of expertise that, that, that you really love, that you really hone in on again, that kind of gets your juices flowing to, to, to get going for your day? Yeah, absolutely. Um, I work with a lot of moms and as we know, moms, they have stress just, yeah. just everybody else. A lot of them are working moms or they work from home and they handle the kids. Sure. Um, so, you know, I, I, I definitely, I, I, that's, that's my demographic. I see a lot of them. So, yeah. you know, I kind of, I kind of feel like helping busy moms feel energized or confident and empowered so that they can handle anything life throws at them. Uh, I think that just that, that statement alone, yeah. it just it will resonate with them and, and I love it. give them some confidence in, in life that they can handle anything. I love it. And, and I, and I love that, that 
again, like you said, you didn't call yourself strength of purpose fitness because you're not just helping people with their, with their fitness. And, and as you so eloquently put it at the start, we're helping people with their mental, emotional, and physical strength to fulfill their purpose in life. So I, I, I just, I, I love everything, everything about that because the, the, the stuff that you do with folks takes so much off of their plate that they felt like they didn't have control over and you, and you give them that control and you do empower them, even though you are on the very basic level focusing on their fitness. Yes. It's spilling over into so many other areas of their life because they have more confidence. Their, their, their ego is boosted because they're proud of themselves. And you do such a fantastic job empowering those folks, those, those, those busy moms that, that you work with. And yes, it just, we see it all the time in the field that you and I both work in spilling over into other areas of people's lives. When you can physically yeah. see and feel that improvement that is way beyond a physical level, it's, it's, it's empowering to see. And you can tell that, that these improvements have affected more areas of their life than just their ability to move more weight or move easier without, you know, uh, killing right. themselves to do it. You know what I mean? <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, no, definitely. I, I got you. I, I hear you. Yeah. It's, it's amazing. You know, you, I, I had, <laughs> I had one client bring a fr her best friend and mm -hmm. her, and she was like, I just want to, I just want you to know I'm a complainer. I'm not going to complain at you, but I might complain while I'm training. Right. I said, That's fine. You do what you do. And what was so funny was after a couple of classes, she absolutely fell in love with it. She's like, I just feel better. I feel like, you know, you, you, you show me what to do. You don't just tell me what to do. You help me, you know, you're right there to tell me, no, nope, do this, do that, do this. And she's like, I love it. It's more like a personal training, but she just sent me a, a recommendation on my page actually yeah. just yesterday. And it like, it was one of those things that kind of grabbed the, grabbed the heartstrings a little bit because you know she got in a car accident, she had some neck pain and oh, now wow. she doesn't have any neck pain because wow. she's just, she's moving better. She's moving better. She works from home. She's a busy mom. Her yeah. husband has his own business. And now she's moving better. So she has a little bit better, better, you know, jump in her step. Uh, yeah. She feels better about herself. She's getting strong. She showed me her bicep the other day, which made me laugh. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, they're, I they're, love stuff they're, like that. They're know? flexing it's, on you already, Josh. I know, right? Awesome. That's awesome. That, that's awesome, man. Yeah, no, and, and, it, and it feels so good. You know, like you said, you you got into it to help people. And, and when you can see stuff like that, it's, it's, it's so rewarding. You feel so happy for them. And, and it's pretty evident that you have helped that person find their, their way and, and find a improvement in strength that goes way beyond just that, that bicep curl. You know, sure. that goes, that yeah, goes, I, mean, you know, I, just, I said that in jest, but yeah, like, no, no, but it, but it, it paints the picture. Like the fact that, that yeah. this, this woman that was in pain and complains about fitness all the time walked in and flexed on you, like that, yeah. that, that right there shows me that it speaks volumes to the fact that you've helped her way beyond her ability to flex now. You know what I mean? Right. Like it, yes. it's, it, it's, it's empowering on so many levels and, and that's part of your why it's awesome. Yep. I just tell them to be careful of the swagger. Don't bring in too much swagger. <laughs> That's right. That's right. He, he, yeah, Josh will find a way to make things harder on you when, when you feel like you've conquered his space. Uh, there's right. always room for improvement there. So yeah, um, definitely. The echo bike speaks to you. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> oh man, that thing. That's, that's for another, that's for another discussion. Um, for sure. For that's, sure. Yeah. That's great, man. That's, that's, that's well, I mean, you know, we, we heard, we heard from, from me, Phil. So why don't, why don't you give us a little, uh, backstory and let people know what, uh, how you started and how you got going and what your passion, what gets your juices flowing, sir. Yeah. Thanks, Josh. I don't know if I'm going to be able to follow that. That was fantastic. But, um, uh, yeah, so I, I own work fit me mobile physical therapy where I help, uh, busy main business owners and professionals maximize their physical performance so they can live a happy, healthy, and wealthy life doing what they love with who they love. And, and just like you, Josh, it truly is a passion. Like I, I, yes. I like to, my, my passion is helping people 
through a, a, a medium that I'm very passionate about through physical therapy. I, I yep. fell in love with the, with the profession near the end of, of high school and through my experiences and through my education and through my time out of school, I slowly developed this vision of how I really thought the field of physical therapy could be utilized to help people. And Perfect. I think that is a driving force behind why I finally said I need to step out of my own, uh, step out on my own and, and start doing my own thing beyond being furloughed and being without a job. <laughs> as, right. well, as, yeah. as, <laughs> you know, that, that was, that, that was like the big driving force, but, but part of my true why beyond just saying, Hey, I've got to find a way to provide for my family. Right. Which, yep. uh, when you're suddenly without a job or even though it was a furlough and it was like, well, you could come back. There was zero guarantee of that, of that happening. I, I knew that in order to help take care of my, my family and have the security and the, and the, 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 the life that we want to be able to live, I was going to have to do something. And, and I started to also realize that through all those experience I just mentioned that drove me to my vision of how I think a physical therapy practice should be, should be run and what the focus of it should be. I also realized that working for someone else, I'd probably never be able to create that. Or there would yeah. always, there would always be parts of it that would be their vision and what they needed to keep their doors open, not what I felt was going to be best for the people that I was working with and helping. So that also pushed me into the direction of, you know what, I, I, I've always wanted to be part of a change, right? I'm, I'm, a, I'm a sucker for, for volunteering, you know, I've been a part sure. of volunteer-based organizations my whole life. And I'm always the one that wants to try to lead the charge and, 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 and make a difference. And, and there, there have probably been times where I've foolishly done that. The thought that I <laughs> thought that I would would truly make a make a big difference, but I but I I really felt that by doing it my own way I I could even if it was just one person at a time I could I could make that difference. So yeah. that's why I started a fully mobile physical therapy practice where I'm able to bring that care out of the clinic right to people uh, where and when it's convenient for them, and it allows me to break down the barriers of the corporate structure of healthcare and show people the power of putting them first. You know, a lot sure. of, a lot yep. of healthcare professionals say that. So I, you know, I don't necessarily lead with that as a way to promote myself or my services, but it's a big reason why I want to do what I'm doing and, and why I started my practice is a lot of places say that, but when you then walk into those places and the therapist you're working with is working with one to three other people and, right. you know, or they, you know, can't do certain treatments that they'd like to do because other administrative hurdles get get in the way or whatever, then that, that promise of putting you and your goals first as the client go right out the window, right? Like it yep. might seem that way on your, on your first interaction, but pretty soon you're going to realize that, well, you know, I'm, yeah, I guess I'm getting some treatment, but, but, you know, am I truly the focus of this person, uh, when they're in front yeah. of two or three other people at the, at, at the same Are time? You more of a number? Right. Yeah. Ex ex yeah. Exactly. So I felt the only way that I could provide the care that I really wanted to provide people and show them that physical therapy is more than just helping you after you're hurt and is a fantastic way to prevent injury from ever coming on was to be mobile, go to that person's environment to ensure that I was always going to be one-on-one -on -one with that person yeah. and, and be able to give them the tools they need to transform those areas of their life to be able to be, as I said, happier, healthier, and wealthier doing sure. what they love with who they love and take part of that stressful feeling of, of pain, discomfort, or, or whatever that's, that's kind of hanging over their head 
that they feel like, geez, I've done this, this, and this for it, and it hasn't gone away, or I was hoping it would go away, and it's not going away on its own, and just be able to eliminate that and give them the power to have better control over that, which then allows it to spill over to other areas of their life and take them to, to the next level that they didn't think they could get to uh, prior to taking care of it. So that's, Absolutely. yeah, that's, that's where, that, that's what gets me up in the morning is. That's, that's awesome. Yeah. And I mean, and you get to, you get to help people in their own home, which I think for people these days, it's, it's, it's huge. Like they yeah. feel more comfortable. They're probably going to be in a better place when you try to show them different things. Sure. As far as, as far as movements and, and habits, they, they feel more comfortable. There's not people staring at them. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's awesome, Phil. It's awesome. I love that idea. It's amazing. Yeah. Well, thank you. Yeah. I mean, I, I think it definitely um, helps make us a little more comfortable with each other a lot sooner, right? Like sure. think about whenever you invite someone into your, into your home, you know, the, um, the, those, those barriers or walls that you put up are, are down a, a, a little bit and, and yeah. I can get a much better glimpse into your day and how your day affects what you have going on. You know, sure. whether it's, whether it's a current problem or a problem that you're trying to uh, avoid all, all together and, and prevent from happening. Yep. If, if I can see you in that environment, uh, I'm going to be much better at helping you gain control over that and, and figure out the root cause of what's going on so that we can make the right moves to, to get you to that ultimate goal of, you know, playing with the grandkids, picking the kids up again, tossing the ball in the backyard, yeah. Uh, going on that hike, whatever, whatever it is that gets you up in the morning uh, that, sure. that you're not able to do, we, we, can, we can work within that environment and say, hey, here's how, we can, here's how we can make this better. Not only make it better now, but make sure it doesn't bother you ever again. Yeah. Yeah. Completely clean it up rather than just shove pills and needles in people and exactly. send them away. It's, exactly. it's huge, man. I think it's so important what you're doing. It's amazing. Yeah. I love it. Thank you. I love Thank it. you. See, that's why we hit it off. We just, yeah. we just this mission to, to help people in uh, you know, in just a better way, just a better way. So yeah, definitely. Yeah. And I, and it's, I've uh, I know you feel this way, Josh, because you and I have talked about this. Um, so I don't think I'm putting words in your mouth when I say this, but I have never felt more fulfilled in my line of work as I do right now. And, and it's because of the impact I know I can have on people um, it, because of the way that, that it's, that it's set up. And when, when wanting to help people in the, in the way that we're helping people was the reason we were getting up and going to work for other people in the first place, mm -hmm. you know, that empowerment of, of making those transformations in people and, and helping them was, was why we were going there in the first place. But, but now that I've, I've been, been at this a little while and see that those changes that I'm so passionate about to begin with are even greater because of the way that I've decided to set that, uh, set my practice up. I'm, yep. I'm even happier to get up and do whatever I've got to do for uh, whatever's in front of me that, that day, because I know that when it boils down to the reason I'm doing it, it, which is helping those people, it's going to, it's going to matter. It's, it's for Absolutely. sure going to matter. And it's going to allow me to create the environment and the life and everything that I want to be creating for the people that I love too. I get to do what I love with who I love and not be consumed with, with, you know, wondering if I did enough for Sally when she came in and saw me at 11 o'clock today. Right. I, I feel I'm able to be fully present with the people that I love by doing that. And I'm sure you feel the same way. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Um, the stresses of working for other people are, uh, they're, they're different. I mean, it's almost like quotas and, you know, why haven't you brought more people in? And, you know, it's, it, it, it just make, I don't know, it made me feel a little bit less genuine, you know, cause, cause you, you, you're out there just grinding rather than just grinding, like in a positive way. I don't know if, if, if I'm saying this the right way, but if you grind in a positive way where you're out there getting your name out there and talking to people and offering up service, Hey, come on in and check it out. Come check it out. Bring a friend. You know, that's more organic than, than some of these 
bigger places where it, I felt a little bit more stress for, for bringing clients in and it just didn't work as well. It was less genuine. Does that make yeah, sense? Well, yeah. Well, you're, you're doing it for something that you truly believe in a hundred percent now, right? Yes. Like when you're working for someone else's vision, right? I, I used to tell people all the time that, and this had a lot less to do with working for someone else and a lot more to do with some of the other red tape that w w goes on with the, the corporate side of healthcare. But I used to tell people all the time that if it weren't for some of those things, I would, I would love a hundred percent of my job, not 80% of my job. Right. So it's not to say that owning our own practices now and businesses now aren't stressful, of but course. The, the type of stress that comes with that is a lot easier to deal with. And is navigated a lot easier because of our why, right? Because yeah. first and foremost, we know we've got to do this for our, for our families, right? We've got to be able to provide for, for our, 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 the, the people at home that we love. And then second, everything we just talked about as the reasons that we started our, our own practice, doing it our own way in the first place, because we care so deeply about helping people in that specific way that we truly feel through our experiences and through our expertise is going to help them the most. Sure. You know, that's that right there is makes that handling that stress so much easier and, and much more willing to put up <laughs> with, with, with the amount of stress because I, I yep. know that it's uh, for a much higher purpose and a purpose that I 100% align with. And that's not to say that people who aren't running their own business can't align very, very well with someone else's vision. Right. Yep. But it, it can be that much easier when that vision is your, your own. And then you see that vision work, right? Like you, yeah. you see, yeah. you see that empowerment, like you said, you're, you're, you know, friend of a client who's, who's now a, a client and, and coming to the gym and flexing on you or like sure. my, 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 myself, I, you know, had a 63 year old electrician who's just trying to work long enough to be able to retire comfortably and then be able to enjoy that. Right. Like he needs yeah. to stay, he needs to keep his business going so that he can provide for his family, yep. but also then be able to enjoy everything he's worked so hard for on the other end. Yeah. And by fully taking care of what he had going on, not only is he more profitable in his business now because he can do more, take on more work with, without his body, without feeling like his body's going to fail on him. Right. But he's much more at ease mentally about that. And he feels more confident that when I'm done working, this very physical job that I work, I'm going to be able to enjoy that time with my wife when we finally get to retire together and not sure. be just in pain all the time and spending all my free time going to see this provider, going to see that provider, taking this pill, taking that pill. Oh, I can't go do that because I hurt too much today. Right. You know, that being able to, and that stuff right there makes it so much more worth putting up with the stress. Um, yeah. which is how I got off on this tangent in the first great. place. Exactly. That's why, that's why we wanted to do this particular podcast is to understand our whys and where we came from and, and why we even wanted to do this whole, whole thing. Yeah. So, yeah. And, yeah and, no, and, that's awesome, man. I couldn't agree more. I think it's, uh, I think it's awesome. Your mobile PT. It's such an awesome idea. I don't know if you're the yeah. first one to do it or not, but it's really cool. Yeah, definitely, definitely not the first one ever. There's a whole huge network of people out there, but I really don't know of people that do it here in Maine. Sure. Um, there, there might be, you know, one or two here or there, but, but um, I've yet to like physically meet them, you know, and, right. and um, hear much, hear much about it. So, um, but you know, even if there is, um, you know, like I said, it's not a, a novel idea, but I feel like it's the best way that I can serve my clients the way that they deserve to be served in my practice or in yeah. any physical, pra physical therapy practice for that matter. And again, it, it's part of what excites me 
uh, and, and, and gets my juices flowing and gets me out of bed is that I get to go do that um, yeah. as, as part of my, as, as part of my day. So it's, it's, it's awesome. Fantastic. I love it. Great. Love it. And, 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 you know, again, I, I think that, you know, understanding everyone in general, just understanding what it is that gets their juices flowing mm -hmm. when you, when you take on that new thing or really sit back and reflect on what does get your juice flowing, and what does get you out of bed in the morning and then attacking it, just, just yeah. going after it with all that passion. It spills over into so many different areas of life. And I think that's why we wanted to take the time to talk about this today is, yep. is, is because hearing stories like this and kind of hearing and, and, and hopefully feeling that, that passion that, that Josh and I feel can help you again, reflect on, what are those things in your life that really get your juices flowing? What are those things in your day that make you want to push harder, make you want to make the changes in your life that you need to make and staying true to them and staying selfish to them is always going to get you a re return. You're always going to yeah. improve. If you stay true to your why, stay selfish to your why, you will, it might take time. It might take a lot of elbow grease, a lot of sweat equity, but you are going to be successful in those things. If you stay absolutely true and selfish to your why and your why is more than I just want to look good in the mirror or yes. I want my clothes to fit better or I want to make more money. It's going to go a lot deeper than that. Uh, and that's why Josh and I wanted to share this today. Absolutely. No, that, that's awesome. That's awesome, Phil. Well, Great. I love it. Awesome. I love it. Well, thank you everybody for listening to another episode of the Strength of Purpose podcast. Make sure you subscribe, rate, and review on Apple Podcasts. We'd love to hear your feedback. Really would appreciate those, those five-star reviews. You can find us anywhere you listen to podcasts. Head on over to our YouTube channel, smash that subscribe button and the bell notification button so you see when our, our videos upload. If you want to watch us instead of just listening to us, you can certainly do that there. You can find us on all social media platforms at Strength of Purpose Pod. You can find uh, Josh. Josh, tell people how they can find you on, on social media. You can find me uh, on Facebook, uh, Strength of Purpose. Just type that in. You'll find that. Um, let's see. Instagram, Strength of Purpose 207 at strength of purpose 207 you can find me over there um that's pretty much it i only do those two uh social media things uh, Perfect. i haven't gotten to, i haven't gotten to the twitter or <laughs> that you know the, the twitter. Twitter. <laughs> i'm working on it well, working on it great uh so yeah find josh uh uh strength of purpose on facebook and at strength of purpose 207 on instagram you can find me uh you can just look me up on facebook phil <laughs> Finnemore, F-I-N-E-M-O-R-E. -E. You can also find uh, the, all the WorkFitMe pages. I am at WorkFitMe on all social media platforms as well. Would love to hear from you all. Would love to interact with you all. If you have any suggestions for the podcast, please find our, our, our pages at Strength of Purpose Pod on all social media platforms. Would love to hear feedback from you comment, subscribe, rate, review, follow, like, all that good stuff. And we, we will be back here next week with another great episode of the Strength of Purpose podcast. Thank you all very much for listening. Have a great day. Thanks, everyone. Take care.